Righto guys, back to the action, at the end of 48s now, Sunoda, showing her world champion class. A couple of interesting early rounds, showing a nice kind of stemiwaza, nice tomoinage to get a few scores. And then, the final, I don't even know what to say about the final, but it's probably one of the most ridiculous decisions I've ever seen. Uh, you'll see what I mean shortly, but don't expect anything for the final, it's, it's very disappointing. And I don't even know what to say about it. But anyway, round one. Just looking for these nice little Tomoinagis. I think in the first round, just outclassed. Outclassed, just didn't know what to do really against Sunoda. Against the Russian now. And you see Sunoda goes for the same thing. Looking for that Tomoinage. But just read beautifully by Gilazova. And Sunoda kind of looking for a little bit of Newaza here and there in this next kind of sequence. Almost gets an armbar. But obviously in Judo, go down to the ground, it's a Newaza. And then when your opponent stands up, it's back into Tachiwaza. So as she's putting this lock on, you know, the Russian Judoka, she kind of feels the danger, stands up, waits for the ref to call Mate. But so Sunoda, she's kind of had enough of this, decides to... Go to her tried and true. Go back to that Tomoe Nage. Bit deeper into the rounds now. Obviously, fighters are a little bit more tired. Throws are easier to do. Easier to to complete on people. So a nice Tomoe Nage. Kind of a weird side for them to fall over with a Tomoe Nage. You, usually you're hoping they fall over on the other side. But whatever works. Here now against the Korean. In the semifinals. And in this, in this instance, I think, just had a really strong gr grip on the sleeve, just kind of dominating the grips in general. Lee dropping to the ground, and you're going to get penalized for this, and then, I mean, Lee, once you get two shadows to your name, you, you can't drop down, you got to just accept the grips, you got to kind of deal with it. And Sunoda, I mean, I think she knew from the beginning of the fight, she was just the dominant fighter, and so she takes her grips, Gets a nice pawn, and then get ready for it, guys. The most disappointing final you were gonna see in your entire lives. So just remember, Gambata is a Mongolian, and this is a contest in Mongolia. I mean, that probably doesn't matter when you think about the rule set, but we are what 20 seconds in now, and this was kind of a strategy against Sunoda from a couple of her. Uh, competitors, people she faced, they look for this kind of, you know, uh, cross sleeve, arm around the back, and would you believe that the ref, I mean, Sunoda's not even in pain, she doesn't even care that that happened to her arm, and the ref goes to the camera, and we're 30 seconds in, and he decides that you can't do that to the arm, and we're going to give you Hansogomake. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So apparently you can do it on the ground, but you can't do it when they're standing. And to me, that is just absolutely stupid. Change the rules. That's what I think. Alright guys, stay tuned for the action. We'll see you later.